So, so I think it'd be, I mean, based on where we are here, um, I think it'd be good to talk about uh, financing a business, um, leveraging and using credit cards and understanding the difference between personal credit cards and the advantage of using personal credit cards, as well as business credit cards and the advantage of using business credit cards. Um, and then, you know, who, which one are you going to qualify for? Um, because they're both have value, uh, but they're going to be, you know, a little, they're going to be a little bit different. So if you're a startup business or if you're an existing business and you have really good personal credit, you don't have the financials or the revenue, or you do, um, but maybe you're maxed out on loans. Maybe you already have an SBA loan or you already have a business term loan and you're not able to get another one. Um, but you have really good personal credit. So, you know, you could be a startup where you have nothing in front of you as, as far as um, time and business and revenue, um, or you are a established business. And both of these options are available to you because both of these options, whether it's leveraging personal credit or getting access to business credit cards. So personal credit cards or business credit cards, they're both personally guaranteed. So on your own effort, if your credit profile qualifies, let's just say for $10,000 with one credit card, then you can go to one credit card company and apply and get approved. Um, so alternatively, if you're seeking 50 to 100,000, you can leverage your personal credit and raise the capital to invest in your business with personal credit cards and if you have the strength, you can also go the other way to get business credit cards. So this is gonna be a program that takes about 20 to 30 days. And ultimately, this is one of the programs that we specialize in helping businesses get access to capital with. Um, this is not probably something you're not gonna be able to do on your own because this is not a program where you're just throwing it up against the wall and hoping it sticks. You're not just randomly applying for a bunch of credit cards. Our, our program and our process is extremely strategic. We have a proprietary systematic way of applying. We know exactly what bureaus each card company is looking at. We know what cards are available based on the state that you're in and based on each of your credit profiles. So we look at your credit profile and we put together a unique bank list based on your profile. Now, you have a choice of either going with personal credit cards or business credit cards. And at the end of the program, you could end up with five to eight accounts. So where you would might, might only qualify for one card and get 10,000 with this program, you can multiply that to 50, 80, or even $100,000. And one of the things we can guarantee is that you're gonna have a 0% interest rate for at least 12 months. If it's personal credit cards, you're gonna also have the ability to leverage that and get cash access at 0% interest. We'll show you how to do that. That's not by cash advance. Cash advance would void the 0%. It would leave you with double digit interest rates, usually twice the amount of the regular interest rate plus transaction fees. And it would only limit, you'd limit you to about 20% cash access. With, with our program and our instructions, you're able to liquidate and get access to around 50% or more of the credit as cash at 0% interest minus about a 3% transaction fee. But now on 100,000, you're able to get around $50,000 cash at 0% interest. Um, the business credit cards are not gonna give you the cash access. Now, there are one or two third-party websites. I'll, I'll put them out there. One is called Melio Payments, and the other one is called Plastique, where if you have a business card and you need to pay a vendor or a company who does not accept credit cards, you can use Melio Payments or you can use Plastique to pay a, pay a third party, and basically they charge about 3%, about the same transaction fee and they'll do a wire transfer or even write a check to the vendor so you can use the credit card even though you don't have cash access through melio or through plastique you can pay a vendor that doesn't accept credit cards now it doesn't work with every single vendor so you need to research that look at melio payments look at plastique and see that it's going to work for you um, but that gives you more uh, buying or, or purchase power versus just using the credit card but more more so the business credit cards are going to give you business credit card spending power. So if you have a business where you need to make purchases or pay services 
that you can use a business credit card to, to pay, then you're going to really take advantage of the 0% promotion on the business credit cards. Now on both sides, the personal cards and the business cards above and beyond 0% interest promotion, each card is going to have different benefits. Some of them have cash back rewards. Some of them have uh, travel rewards and, and um, some of them have, uh, you know, just various um, perks and incentives. So if you're leveraging your personal credit to launch or grow your business and you need cash access, then we recommend and we show you how to do that leveraging your personal credit with personal credit cards, 0% interest. The program takes about 20 to 30 days to complete. Again, where you might get 10,000, the program can deliver 50 to 100,000. The range of funding is 20 to 200,000 per applicant. Um, there is a fee for that. Our per, it's a for performance guarantee fee that we, we charge, and that's based on the total results. And that's going to be 9.99% of the total available credit. Um, that's a one-time fee. If you take good care of this credit, what's going to happen is you're going to get limit increases. You're going to get new 0% offers, and you're going to be able to leverage it again and again. Now, what we recommend is build your business credit at the same time. So in six to eight months or 12 months, you're going to be in a position, if you leverage personal, to go for another round based on business. And as long as you've taken good care of the debt, there is one caveat. You need to bring your balances down to under 35% utilization. That's going to be on the personal side and on the business side. That needs to update and reflect. But then you can secure another round of funding on the business credit. So now you've gotten 50 to 100 on personal, maybe 150 on the personal. You use that for 12 months, 0% interest. You build the business credit. You get another 50 to 100 business credit. You can move that money over from the personal as long as the balances are under 35% to the business. At that point, separate the liability, build up that business. You have all this available credit on the personal side. What do you think is going to happen to your personal credit when you have about 50 to $100,000 of available credit with zero balances? where you've used it aggressively and paid it back in that 12 months, maximizing the 0% interest. What's gonna happen is the credit score is gonna go skyrocket. You're gonna have the elite, an elite credit profile. So you're gonna get limit increases, new 0% new promotions. You're gonna be able to use this again and again. It's all about leveraging your credit. But if you do it smart, then you're gonna build the business credit. You're gonna leverage personal credit, build business credit, leverage the business credit, move the debt over to the business, separate your liabilities, and continue to build your business credit so that you can get access to more and more funding on the business side and reduce your personal utilization and your personal liabilities. I really like that because that, that um, really positions uh, some, some of my clients really well that are not necessarily on the side of paying off debt, they're more so on the side of how do I leverage debt to create cash flow to keep building my business. And then this also, I think, would help my, uh, my, my friend and partner that I work with that was, you know, asking me the question, hey, you know, what, what, uh, what banks do you recommend uh, in terms of uh, credit lines, like a, like a business line of credit, maybe a credit card, but more importantly, like a, a, a business line of credit. That type of program might be ideal for him because he can quickly get quickly get access to some liquidity use that liquidity so that he can get access to the proper funding is that correct that that correct. he that he would want cuz you know I, I have a friend and partner that is trying to you know obtain like a large business line of credit he's got like 60 70k in in business credit cards that he's, you know, flirting with pretty much. And I'm kind of like the same way. I'm, I think I'm at like 50K now with uh, business credit cards, 50, 60. And he's got damn near perfect credit on the personal side. He's at 790 floating, mm -hmm. uh, almost 800. So he has a really good personal credit profile. He's young like myself. I think he's like two years younger than me. So would you recommend him to do something like that? Uh, so the... the it, it, so here's the thing with with the per, using and leveraging the personal credit right as we know credit cards compound interest right yeah so if you have zero percent interest for 12 months there's no compounding of interest in 12 in that first 12 months 
So if you can use and leverage that credit and for the first year and a half to two years, eliminate most of the debt on that credit by investing it in your business and you have a plan of action for that money. And if you are going to build your business credit so that you have an exit strategy to move the debt to the business, then yes, it's a great program and it's something that you should consider leveraging the personal credit in that way. But you have to keep in mind that in the interim, your personal credit is going to reflect new accounts and increase, and it's going to reflect high utilization if you're using a high, high amount of credit. So the question is, what are you planning on doing over the next six to 12 months? Are you applying for a mortgage? Are you applying for a major loan like SBA? Because if you tell me you're looking to buy a house in a month or two, I'm going to advise you that you need to buy the house, close on the property before you proceed with this program. That's just good advice. Um, Got it. Same thing with an SBA. I, I have clients that tell me, look, I really want to get this SBA loan. So, okay, let's close on the SBA loan. And then we come back to this program after SBA. Yeah. Um, so it's just a matter of what are your short-term and long-term goals. But yeah, that's a great program. Now, what I will, I will drop this. Um, you can get access to a business line of credit, not a credit card, but a, but a true line of credit um, from, a, from a bank. You're probably going to need to have at least one year, but I de- they're really looking for a two, two years business tax returns. Mm-hmm. Um, and what they're looking at is your debt service ratio, your debt service coverage ratio. So just like you have your personal debt to income ratio, DTI, yeah. they look at your business's debt service coverage ratio which is based on the amount of debt that your business has and the amount of revenue that you have coming in the business, how much debt can your business service and cover, okay? And so ultimately, if your debt service coverage ratio qualifies, which means that you have revenue in the business, that's gonna determine how much you can get approved for on a line of credit. So you can make a million dollars in revenue in a business and only qualify for a $20,000 line of credit because if, At the end of the year, you're showing losses. You can't expect to be able to get a line of credit or a loan because your debt service coverage ratio is not is not qualifying. So a lot of business owners make the mistake of showing losses for for to release themselves of the tax burden. Which I understand that. But there's a give and a take. So if you have if you're anticipating that you're going to really want to expand and grow your business and you're going to want to leverage debt to do that with a true loan or a line of credit from a bank, then your debt service coverage ratio needs to be able to service that debt, which means that you need to show revenue and strength and cash flow and growth in your business. So keep that in mind. Now, two banks that you might want to look at, if you have a PNC bank in your area, get an account with PNC. They have a bunch of business lines of credit, different levels and loans that they offer business owners. PNC bank is a great bank. There's another bank, it's a FinTech bank. They don't have physical locations. It's called Axios Bank, A-X-I-O-S Bank. And they offer some really good business credit. I'm sorry, business um, checking account with pretty high, I think around 1% interest the last time I checked. I mean, a 1% interest bearing checking account, which is pretty good. Um, so you're compounding interest in that checking account at 1%. Um, and then on top of that, they have a whole suite of business products for loans and lines of credit. So ideally you want to, you want to any business checking account that you set up, you want to vet the company and just ask them what kind of products do you offer your clients that are looking to expand and grow in the form of loans and lines of credit. And if they only have one or two, well, you might want to look for one that might has, might have at least four or five or, you know, or even more. I know PNC has about eight different products on different levels and uh, Axios has about five of them. So these are two that I would you know, recommend taking a look at. Um, another great bank, they, they don't necessarily have um, loans or lines of credit, but it's another FinTech that I, I promote. It's called Novo Bank. Um, Novo? Novo, N-O-V-O. Okay. Um, as we and I talk, um, I'm, I'm launching this new site, Startup Cred, and um, I'm gonna put, you know, issue, give you a, a, a page to send your clients to. Um, and it'll have some of these links on there, including Novo, Ring Central, um, a bunch of the different tools and resources we talked yeah. about. Yeah. Um, but um, but Novo is pretty neat because it's it's a fintech web-based bank, and they give you um, it's no fees, and they refund you on any ATM fees anywhere in the country. So, you know, it's a business checking account, 
they have a very high uh, interest bearing. I think it, I think it's also close to around one percent. And um, and again, you know, they, they refund you on the fees, but it integrates with all the various uh, web based e-commerce platforms and, you know, different apps that are out there, you know, and that's the key. You know, some of the older brick and mortar banks, they're good banks, but they're just not there in terms of technology yeah. and offering integration with some of the platforms that are out there now. And this is where we are, you know, and it's not we're not going to go backwards where it's, it's going to you know, increase the need for the integration is, is crucial with any business checking account. Got it. So, so PNC is really good for the, for the business line of credit and, and Axios, uh, right. also offers, uh, B locks as well. Yes. Cool. Yes. I'll definitely, uh, share that with him. And so for a guy like him, just to provide a little more insight, he's, you know, cash flow positive, you know, doing, doing, uh, showing a lot of profit, um, good credit. So pr you probably wouldn't recommend that 20, 30 day program for him. You would no, you would, not necessarily because the, 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 on that PNC application, right on their webpage, it says right there that they are going to look at your business credit. So if okay. he hasn't done that, if he hasn't built up that Dun and Bradstreet and has the depth and the strength, mm -hmm. then yeah. it's probably going to be, I would not recommend it applying without first right away yeah so the, so depending on where he's at he might have to go just the credibility established profile route first right, right. Um, and then come back to get that funding that he would like because he would you know i think his main goal is just liquidity being able to dump a bunch of money into maybe some marketing or, or an investment if the opportunity arises um right. to have that and that's great just having access to a bunch of uh you know a low interest debt essentially or, or revolving debt which i love because it your ability to do velocity banking on that is that much better um than if it was just you know a standard amortized loan but then you know um sometimes i'm okay with amortized loans depending on what the intention is if i have no desire to pay it off then i'd rather go with maybe an amortized loan and just cash flow the difference over right. a over a, maybe a revolving credit line um, but you know, different things. I, I will tell you, uh, recently there's a, at least three or four of your clients, um, have gone through the, the uh, program, street to credit lines secured, uh, around 50 on one, around a hundred on another yeah. zero percent interest promotion, but their plan for the use of funds is to invest it in real estate. Right. So they're, they're looking at getting private money or hard money loan, which is typically going to have a 70%, 80%. LTV. So on a, on a hundred thousand dollar property, you have to come up with 30,000 or 20,000. Yep. So now they have 0% interest cash that they, they can get from the credit card, put it into the LTV, get the rest of the property financed, fix and flip that property within three to six months, pay back the credit card in full, see the return on their investment and potentially do that two or three times at 0% interest yeah, in a 12 month window. So something like using this system or that product for something like that, where the return on the investment is aggressive is, is really ideal. Very cool. I like that. And I know I, I've got some clients that are on that level where they can handle debt, the capacity, you know, it's really just boiling down to what's your capacity to handle yeah. debt. Because if you're going to open 10 to 14 accounts, but you've never operated one before or two or three for that matter, it might be overwhelming. You might make a mistake and now you're left with a bunch of debt. So um, you definitely want to be clear. Am I going to use a Sebastian for Veloc Velocity Banking and paying off my personal debt or am I going to, or is my intention to shift some of that personal to the business to increase my personal so maybe I can get approved for something? really be clear when you're coming to Sebastian so he can, you know, guide you in yeah. that direction and not, uh, you know, not get excited about all the things Sebastian and I are talking about. So, oh yeah, I want to, you know, quarter million of funding, a hundred thousand, but you never operate in that environment. Evaluate, you know, see exactly. where you're at. And I, I think uh, a guy like yourself will point that out when you talk to people like, Hey, you know, let's, 
Let's it's important careful. to us that our clients are successful um, right. because, you know, our reputation is everything. Right. And, you know, even if it's not my fault that a client, you know, maybe uses money frivolously and doesn't do well, but it doesn't, they remember, you know, who helped them get the money. And for some reason, people like to point fingers. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, no, I, I've, I've, I've faced some of that so far. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, uh, in in my world as well, and I just, you know, it, it can be frustrating. You know, if you're on the, on our side, do this A B C, one two three, not seven eight nine ten eleven twelve, and then do one two three. So, right. you know, it can be a little frustrating sometimes, but it it happens. But uh, being able to at least make them aware, hey, here are the risk, and yeah. you know, you know, we can go over that, you know. On, a, on another session, just talking about all the risk that comes with it. As, as great as it is, like you said, there's give and take. Yeah. Yeah, um, there is. As, as we're operating. So um, as we come to a, a close here, anything else that you wanted to uh, share with us or, or close out with? No, I would just say as far as um, if, if you do decide to reach out to me, just know that um, our approach is not to sell you a product, but it's to look at your profile, evaluate, evaluate your situation, your goals, short term and long term, and based on where you are, let you know and uh, uh, educate you on, on your options. So some of my clients were helping with SBA loans. There's invoice factoring, equipment financing. There's unsecured personal credit, business credit. You know, there's so many different options. There's there's options using a 401k, doing a self-directed rollover. There's options even using uh, the cash value of uh, life insurance as collateral for a line of credit yep. at like 3.5%. I mean, yep. there's so many different options and different ways, ways that you can finance a business. And so our, our objective is to educate our client, look at your situation and help you to understand all your options and help you to make the best decision. And ultimately, if you don't qualify, to put you on a track roadmap so that you can grow, build yourself up so that you're in a position so that you can qualify. You know, and that's that's something that I think is very important because, like you said, you know, um, being responsible and, and using the funds properly is very important. Um, but also knowing what you have to do to get there and then how to maintain it is 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 part of the the, the roadmap and the education. So right, that's what we leave them with. I appreciate that. No, that that sets the foundation, the groundwork. Okay, you're coming. To, to Sebastian, you're coming to him for obviously business credit, business funding. You want to build that area up. He's also going to let you know, look, here's what to look out for. Uh, here are the options. Here's what exists. Like all those things you just said, 401k, cash value, collateral loans, uh, other loan options, collateral type stuff and different rates. Um, the fact that you're able to provide all that info, you know, most people were thinking, oh, I want to do this, but when you see their whole financial portfolio, you'd be like, hey, you've got this uh, other asset here that potentially get a much better rate on. Right. Let's take a look at that. So I exactly. like that part. Yeah.